to thank God that uh, precious Kameli today. I said in my live class, Chris, I was unable to share some of the things I prepared due to the fact that I had a good system. I explained some types of, uh, I think two types of uh, concept authority. One was traditional concept authority and the other one was religious concept authority. We look at the types as in the meaning, the examples, and the functions they perform. And I made it known to you that the functions they perform could also be referred to as the importance of these uh, consulted authorities. Today we'll forge ahead, but before we forge ahead, I would like to exercise your brain based on what we did in our last class. And I'm going to ask some selected questions. Uh, let me see. Those I'm going to ask the question. Are you kilo dinner? My first question goes to you. Turn on your video. My first question to Bulu Atipe. And the question says, what are the importance of religious and traditional concept authority? Just tell me two, two importance of traditional consulted authority. Promote yourself and answer my question. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm expecting your response. In by Jessica, I will come and plug you there. About today, turn on your video. Audio wo, turn on your video. Okay, since Ara, you could not answer my question for now, you will answer later. Let me go to Rooney. Rooney, answer my question. Yes, sir. What are the importance mm -hmm. of traditional mm -hmm. concept authority? Mm, about one. Um... It helps the local government to maintain law and order. Thank you very much. It helps local government, local authority to ensure law and order. Michael Taylor, you were not in my last class. Can you try? Michael Taylor, can you try? Morning, sir. Morning, how are you, my brother? Can you, try, can you try tell me one importance of uh, traditional concept authority? Um, traditional um, concept authority. Hallelujah! Hey, tell the person not to sing that in a class. <laughs> okay, I understand, Taylor. Divine. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, tell you two two importance of religious considered authority. Uh, religious. Yes. Okay. The, it has us a link between people and their God. Yes. Thank the you. Importance of it, it helps maintain peace in the area of jurisdiction. In the area of this locality, shall... The religious leader help to maintain peace in the area of jurisdiction. For instance, now when there's a kind of conflict between or among the members of their religious group, they tend to settle it for such will escalate to another things else. Okay, thank you very much. For those who have not asked questions from, I'm going to ask you questions. 
So trust me. Okay. These are the function I was actually asking you. The traditional pastoral authorities serve as the custodian of the local traditions. Uh, and it helps the local government to maintain law and order stated by somebody. It reduces, it educates the subjects on the needs for maximum cooperation with the government. Okay, they will tell you that let's do this, let's let uh, that is our function. And it set to minor disputes in it is locality with at least within the area of a uh, jurisdiction, it's helped to settle disputes. Okay. So these uh, many orders are the importance of functions of uh, just considered uh, and personal considered authority. This is religious considered authority, just as I have noted in there. Please note yourself. Just as I have noted in our previous. Uh, oh, you want to force me to take your edition? Please mute yourself. Do you want me to use my central padlock? Yes. <laughs> The first one, traditional really I'm not asking authority. anybody question. I'm not asking anybody question now. I don't ask you to talk. Mute yourself. If I ask you to talk, you mute yourself. Please be my show by now. That I don't use the central pilot means that you are my show. You should be able to manage yourself at your end there. Okay. This is not the first time we are using this system. By now, you should know how to make use of the, the, the system effectively. When you are not talking, you mute yourself. When you are asked a question, you mute yourself and talk. Don't force me to use the central part of here to mute all of you. Okay? As I was saying, I said this uh, religious uh, conservatory, as I've stated at that time, or conferred on individual leaders of various religious organizations. And you can see the examples with the pictorials. Uh... So, as I was saying, I said we have trashed this issue out in our previous uh, class. Okay, then we have seen that these are the Functions performed by this uh, group. It's out as link between the peoples and the gods, they just as somebody has said. Okay. Um, who is here? Uh, who have to ask? I want to ask somebody a question here. Problem or postpone the question. Then it attends to the spiritual need of the people. I think I've said it the other day, whereby when there's needs for any kind of prayer and other things, this group tend to do it as in pray to God, direct them spiritually on what to do. As a matter of fact, this group is also helped to inculcate moral values on the people, especially the followers. The churches, the religious organization is meant, actually should be the means of sending a kind of moral education to the public. But unfortunately, in most cases in this day now, we see the reverse. We see a pastor, an evangelist, raping the church member or sleeping with the wife of the church member. I don't know what kind of... Uh, Moral lesson is that, nevertheless, don't forget that among the twelve, that is where we have Judas Iscariots. Hmm? So, Jesus Christ has said it in the Matthew chapter 24 that many will appear in my name, that they are the, the they will say they are the man of God, this and that, but he said by their fruit, you shall know them. So, uh, let's not, because of that, I think that. Those people are actually the real or original men of God. Although some might have been called, but have Barbara, they are called at a point in time. Yet there are still some, there are still some that still stand by the tenants and sending the 
information out in the right perspective, even with their own character, without even speaking with what they do, we will learn from them as the men of God in this generation. Yes, today we're looking at the government uh, consent authority. And this, when I say government consent authority, the type of authority conferred on the executive and the legislature. Hmm? Take notes. Because somebody asked me a question, what is the difference between legal and uh, rational uh, authority and government authority at that time? Okay. This type of authority is conferred on the executive and the legislature. And the uh, well, executive, you know, the presidents, the ministers, the governors, the commissioners belong to the executive. And what we say the legislature, referring to the senate presidents, the speakers of representatives, and the state as well assembly, this are a member of the uh, legislature are referring to here. So these people, they have the power as conferred on them by the constitution to manage the affairs of the states without any form of friction or challenge. For instance, now the president will take certain decisions of which you cannot challenge if it's checked. I think uh, some section, I think some section, if it's checked from section 41 for something of 1999 constitution, you see the responsibility of the president. If you also convert as in, as in come to the constitution very well, you will see the functions of the governors at the chief executive officer at the state level, the senate president who preside over the uh, Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, they have certain responsibility to carry out. And when they are doing such, it is expected that uh, you recognize the authority conferred on them. They have been constitutionally empowered to do what they are doing. That is why they are called constituted authority. And their government constituted authority, the fact that they have been elected into the various offices and empowered by the constitution to carry out certain responsibilities and such responsibility in accordance with the provisions of the constitution. What function do they pay for? Can you tell me one function they perform? Yes, let me see who am I going to call here. Function performed by government or state authority. Wow, the Milady is coming to my class for the first time. That's great. Leaky. Leaky. Yes, sir. Yes, tell me one function of uh, government considered authority. What are the functions of? Define. It's, it's, oh, sorry, define. You hear me? Take attendance of the class for today. The fact we don't want to take the attendance of the class. If they first to come, anybody that first come to my class will be my governor for that day. Yes. It, it provides basic amenities for the people. Thank you very much. Especially the executive provide the basic amenity for the citizen. Okay water, electricity, among others, the statutory responsibility of the government uh, consent authority to provide us for the people. My next question goes to Melody. That's my leader of opposition. Yeah. Yes. Functions of or importance of government consent authority. It maintains law and order in the society. Thank you very much. It maintains law and order in the society. Then I have, I have an attachment to that question. And that attach, attachment would be, as, would be as in, let me look at the lady that is here, the girl here that's going to answer the question. But why are these girls so obstinate? None of them turn on their video. Okay, no problem. Saddam, you will tell me how the government consultant authority maintain law and that through what agencies or agency? Okay, that is done through the law enforcement agents, okay? 
Tadam, do you hear that? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. So, these and many others are the options. It's provide basic social amenity for the citizens, just as somebody said. It may tell law and order in the society through the law enforcement agent that I've said. It will take the country from internal and external aggressions. When I say internal and external aggressions, I mean it prevents the attacks within and outside the country. And what agencies carry out this is the military, the Air Force through the air, the Nigerian Army through the land, and the Nigerian Navy through the water. So these are the military, okay? Then it promotes national unity. As a matter of fact, it ensures federal characters are put in place. I think I've taught you what federal character implied sometimes ago. I will ask you again, and what I will not ask you now, what is federal character? Okay. This and many others are the importance of functions of government consulted authority. Next to it here, we have legal or rational consent authority. I think from the image, you should be able to tell me what legal or rational consent authority is. Yeah, yeah, let me see what I'm going to ask this question. I'm going to explain this. It's here. I don't mind. Rooney. So, can you tell us what legal or rational <coughs> consent authority is? Judging mm -hmm. from the image you are seeing. <coughs> hmm. It is like a type of constitutional authority that like uh, exercised by judges judges like law yes yes they would, what 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 are the certain responsibilities of the judges mm. Mm, to set two crimes to set to crime, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not to set to crime, okay. <laughs> to set to this, okay. Let me listen to. Thank you very much, Rudy. Let me listen to uh, Leke. To set to dispute and maintain law and order in the. In the you have time. you have jammed two things together. The difference between set to dispute and maintain law and order. Law and order are maintained by the executive. Settlement of dispute, dispute at the statute responsibility of uh, the judiciary. Okay? Take note of that. Law and orders are maintained by the executive hmm? through the police and, more, and other agencies of government. Okay? Take note of that. Okay? Oh, just as uh, Rony has said, this is a type of consent authority. Oh, I'm seeing some new, new faces today. This is a type of consent authority conferred and exercised by the judges and the magistrates who interpret the law and set to dispute in the states. Rune, I think you get it right now, B. Okay. What they do is the fact that it's not that you have the magistrates, you have the judges, and we have also have the caddies, especially when we're talking of the uh, Sharia courts. Okay. This body, what they do, they are only to ensure that they interpret the law, they take the provisions or the situation of the law in the state at the same time, settle disputes, either between an individual, between the individual and government, or among the government agencies and, 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 and others. So these are the statute responsibility performed by this. From this um, uh, interpretation and explanation, you should be able to tell me the function performed by this uh, uh, considered uh, authority. Let me see who I'm going to call. Baba Tunde. Brian should be warming up. And if you have any noise in here, because anytime I call you, there's always a noise on that. Yes. Um, yes. Importance of options of this. Uh, uh, the, um, the Polish offenders. The Polish offender. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The Polish offender. 
please take note. I, 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 from what is said now, some of you think that it's executive that have the power to punish offender. No, it is the judiciary that has the power to punish offender. Then the executive would now be the one to implement the punishment as imposed on the offender based on the provisions of the constitution through the police and uh, maybe the prison uh, or the correctional center, as they call it now. I don't know how correct the place is to correct the criminals for now. Some people go there, when they come back, they become more hiding criminals. Okay. I know prison is supposed to be a correctional center, but with the situation of our prison in Nigeria, is that actually a correctional center or a criminal center? Even some people that are, that are just innocent put in that place, they come back and become a hiding criminal and they go help our country. Oh, Brian, tell me one function or importance of this type of council authority. Okay, sir. Sir, rational. I'm with you. Tell me one function or importance of this uh, type of consent authority. Is this legal or rational consent authority? So, legal or rational consent authority. Um, So legal rational control authority, they help to um, settle disputes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. From the explanation, if you know that, they help to settle disputes in the states. From the explanation, if you have seen that, you can see now that I've said it in this explanation. Common sense interprets the laws in the states. It's an importance of auction. It ensures the protection of human rights, OK? Protection of human rights in the state can only be carried out through this uh, group. Your rights have been violated. Where do you go to? You go to the court and sue the person. So let the legal or rational consent authority that can ensure your rights that have been freed upon will be well protected. Okay, take note of this. This and many others are the importance of functions of the legal or rational consulted uh, authority. Yes, we have organizational administrative consent authority. To have organization, organizational or administrative consulted the authority. Now I will say it, organizational or administrative consulted authority. So this is authority conferred and exercised by heads and sub heads of different organizations. I say by head or sub head of different organizations. What are these examples of this head or subhead of different organizations? Right, so we have the managing directors, the chief executive officers, the vice chancellors in the universities, the rectors in the polytechnics, the provosts in college of education, the registrars, other at the university, college of education, polytechnics, or secondary school, the principals on uh, the HUD, the vice with the teachers. The uh, examples of organizational and um, or administrative consulted authority. As so you see, the image I see this is the Vice Chancellor of uh, University of Lagos State, Professor Toyin Ogundipe. He is an example of organizational or administrative consulted authority. As a matter of fact, he has the he has been he, is, he has a consulted power to manage the affairs of University of Lagos, just like other vice chancellors in the other university in Nigeria. And uh, as a matter of fact, you will see my own image here. As the registrar of Goodvine College, I have the power to handle certain administrative matters. The stand of which, once I say it, when it comes to academics now, if I say it is like this, it's like this, this is how you do it. Because you have believed that I have been considered with the power to authority to do that, you surely see me as an authority to uh, to have the, the, the as in to have the what it takes to give you or offer you the pieces of advice, and you have to just take it. You, you understand more when you get to SS3, and I think I offer you some a, a kind of a seminar 
when you were when you arrive at SS one on how to make choice on how to if you want you have to discover your talent how to make choice on the type of department and what you intend to do and other things if you have not seen me as a consultant authority when i was speaking when i was delivering the lecture you will not listen to me okay so these are uh, many others are examples of this consulted uh, authority now from what i have said and from the examples i've given you should be able to tell me the functions though i may not have them here you should be able to tell me the functions yes yes function performed by the administrative and consulted authority yes lake is raising his hand it's the only lake that i have here let me see you if this is what you have forced me to do normally before now what i will do is that you mute yourself as about i have used my central padlock since you couldn't control yourself Yes, Lake. Define, I hope you are taking the attendance. You send any message to me. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, they, they, they had an, a particular organization. Like, they are the ones that, um, um, manage the affairs of, the, of an organization. They help the organization to achieve the objectives or the goals. That's simple. Hmm? Don't you think they also teach more? Huh? Hmm? That the principle that the school had and other things they teach more. Okay. Hmm. I will not read your message until you turn on your video. Okay. My class is not a prosy class. It's a live class. All right. So the, thank you very much as regard that. This organization teach more. This uh, group, they teach more. Uh, the individual teach more. They help to, uh, the organization to achieve its objective among others. These are many others at the function. One we also have what we call instrumental constituted uh, authority. Oh, okay. Now, from the picture you are looking at, from the picture you are looking at, can you tell me what is instrumental constituted authority? Let me take this from the vine. Uh. Yes. Instrumental consider authority. Uh, this is a like an authority that is like regarded. Like the national symbols are as is they are regarded right. as symbols of our nation and the, okay, like okay. the currency, the flag, the coat of arms, should be yeah, the miss. Okay, okay, you have not, you do not put it very well. You don't put it very well. You are using the idea of the image you are seeing, but you still fail to put it very well. Let me see who is raising this uh, hand here. Yeah? Let me check the hand. Wow, so Isa is trying to come to class. Isa is, Isa is having serious network. I think she's a traveler out of Lagos. Jessica will not recognize until you turn off the video. You know my rule. Okay. Those that are raising their hand, they are prosy member of the group. So, is that you are welcome? Oh, if you raise your hand, your video is not turned on. No, I will not recognize you. Where is Posi? You two, you are turning off, turning off your video. If I catch you, eh? You know now that I'll just I'll just use a parachute. I'll just come. I'll just land at the front of her. Just say, "Boss, come out. Let me give you ten strokes." Yes, but answer my question. 
What do you understand by instrumental concert authority? Like this is the respect given to national symbols, like such as means coat of arms or national flag. Okay. Okay, you, you hit one part of it. You hit one part of it. For the national symbol to be given respect, something might have happened. For instance, now, if I am not your teacher, will you have listened to me? The answer is no. Hmm? You give respect to the national symbol on the fact that it, the national symbol has been recognized by the constitution. Okay? This is the regard conferred on the national symbol based on the provisions of the constitution. For instance, now, if you mutilate our national flag, you know what it means. If you mutilate our naira, you know what it means. Hmm? And you know the mace. The mace is the symbol of uh, authority. The mace you are seeing here is the symbol of authority in the National Assembly. Once the symbol is at in, the in, in the plenary, whatever decision taking will be binding on everybody. If the symbol is not there, the decision taking is not binding on anybody. So that is a symbol of authority. Authority is given to that those instruments. Okay, and once those things are seen. They are respected by giving necessary regard. As a citizen, you must honor them, you must respect them because constitutionally, those instruments have been empowered to be honored, to be respected, to be given necessary accolade and respect whenever they appear in any place you find them. That is why I call them instrumental considered authority. So far, so good. We have looked at the types of uh, considered authority, and I think. Uh, it's on this note we are going to wind it off as regards consider authority. And I'm going to take your question now. In our subsequent class, I'm going to do a summary, especially for the purpose of those people that have missed one class or the other that need clarification or something. I'm going to review some part of what I have taught you before in the subsequent class before we write our TBT test for the month of uh, July. Please, it is time for your question now on considered authority. Devan, I believe you are taking attendance. You will send my attendance to me on WhatsApp through Mommy's phone. Okay, those that come to the class, send it to me. Yes, question time. We have looked at meaning of considered authority. We have looked at the type, and we have dissected the type one after the other and look at the functions or the importance. Um, please let me quickly tell you this. In case of tomorrow, if you are asked to, in, in my own, I divided the function section by section, type by type. But in some questions, you mean the, 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 they, they may just ask you generally the advantages of concert authority. Hmm? They may just ask you advantages of concert authority. So. It is the type, uh, it's the function that I give you under each type that are the advantages. Is that understood? So let me take your question and let me, I'm going to unmute everybody, but make sure you don't misbehave. All right. It's time to take your question. We have question. If you have question, unmute yourself, raise your hand, unmute yourself, and ask your question. Yes, divine. Unmute yourself and ask your question. Okay, uh, you said um, authority is like the power to do something, right? Yeah, authority is the right. Authority is the right. The, is the right. right. Mm. obedience. It's authority but, uh, is the right to enforce obedience. Yeah. Yeah. But the instrumental constituted authority, mm. what right do they have to like enforce obedience and thank you very much. You know, you know, in um, in authority, you don't force people to do it. People have seen the the provision have been stated. Eh? The provision has been stated that do it this way. The constitution of the country says if you come to the plenary, the National Assembly, once the mace is here at the plenary, 
you do what you maintain perfect death row and the decision taking there is binding on anybody. So you don't need anybody, you don't need to compel anybody to force anybody to do it. Unlike in power, in power, you use, you use your ability to enforce the obedience, okay? But in authority, you, once you read, it's like when you read guidelines, like code of conduct in the school. Once you have read the guidelines, the code of conduct, what do you do? You obey everything, right? That is just it. That is how it is in case of instrumental authority. They don't need to enforce it. The, the, the provision has been stated in the constitution. What about them currency? Currency. Fine. Thank you very much. Now, you know, Nigerian, we, we will disobey law very much. Hmm? We disobey law. Currency is not meant to be squeezed. It's meant to be packed very well. If you squeeze or spread the currency, the person is supposed to be arrested. But in Nigeria, it's like part of our political culture is to disobey constituted authority and law. That's the problem. It's an individual that will arrest you. Police are supposed to arrest you if you disobey, if you, if you motivate our currency. I don't know if I've answered your question. Yes, yeah, sir. Thanks, sir. All right, thank you. Okay, now.